I get the scary part about this situation right here is like I done gave you so many chances. And it done got to a place where you're tired, sis. And you're so scared because he done said that he was going to change so many times. And now he had a place where he really want to let you know that I really understand that you are truly the one. And then you on the other end, like, so you mean to tell me out of all the things that you have took me through, now you realize that I'm the one. And you don't want to do it again because so many different things and so many different times it has became repetition in your relationship. And you're scared. But at the same time, you want to give him another chance. But you won't tell him that because it won't be wise for you to say, I'm going to give you another chance because you really want to pay attention to your feelings because it seemed like he don't care about your feelings and what you go through and the things that he have put you through. So it's like, you mean to tell me you want me to do it again? And it's something that you want to give him another chance because you can hear him crying out saying that, don't leave me. So you at a standstill, but not at a standstill because he don't know that you really want to give it another shot, but you're scared. And you don't know what to do, but you know what to do. You fed up. But he's saying, baby, don't leave me. Don't leave me. I got it this time. But you done heard it so many times. And you're tired. And this this, this me talking to you as your brother, your nephew, your uncle. However you look at it. I want you to really hear what he's saying. And you said, well, I done heard him say it. I done heard him say it over and over again. And I still get the same results. He still go out there, do what he want to do. I receive him back. He go out there and talk to different women. I still receive him, do it, give it back to him and let him, hey, we, we going to work it out again. My thing for you is, in the midst of him saying, don't leave me, you got to be happy. And you done put up years and years and years. You done developed this man to a place where now he realized that I can't leave this woman, man. She, she done, I done put, put her through so much. And I done, everybody, I know she the one, but I had to take her through. You Now you on the other, you mean to tell me he had to take me through all of that to realize I'm a good woman? And you will say, well, nephew, bruh. Would you, would a man let a woman take him through that? And I say to you, I don't know too many will. If a woman out there dipping and dabbing, doing this, doing that, I don't know too many men would let their woman dip and dab going to this woman, that woman, not coming home, not calling, dodging calls. I don't know too many men that will. But I ain't saying that there's, there's not one that will. But what I am saying to you is, in this situation, you got to know about you being happy for you. And if you happy where you at in your decision, that's all that matters. But if it's something in the back of your mind saying, well, give it another shot. You got to challenge that on your own self. Because I can't, I, I, I'm not in position saying a man can't change. I change. God allowed me to find my wife, right? So you got to really dive into what he's saying. He said he love you. I can't go without you. I don't want nobody else. I had, I had to go through all this and take you through this and take you through that for me to realize that you're the one for me. So it's on you, sis. It's on you, auntie. It's on you, niece, to really realize and focus in and say, God, I want to make the right choice. I've been with him. And he's still been doing the same thing. 
So it's on you to really realize about you being happy for you. So if it's being with him or not being with him, you got to be happy. Understand.